Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Ross. I'm a photographer and video maker from Northern Ireland. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Usually before getting a new piece of camera equipment, I do like a ton of research. I watch loads of YouTube videos and read loads of reviews and basically learn everything there is to know about the thing before it even arrives. But today is different. Rather than me going out into the world to try and find a new lens, today a new lens has found me. And it's this one here. The 27mm f2.8 autofocus lens from TT Artisan. Check it out. TT Artisan reached out to me and said they liked my videos and they wanted to send me a lens and this is it. So let's crack open the box and see what's inside. Okay, let's open this up here. Get this tape off. Got some instruction manuals, warranty card. Wrapped in plastic. It seems so small. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at how small that lens cap is. That's insane. Little tiny little lens cap. We've got the rear lens cap here. Oh, squeaky. Oh, we've got a USB-C port in the back to be able to upgrade the firmware there. We've got our aperture ring. Let's see how she clicks. It's got a nice click. Maybe we should put it on my X-T4. Let me grab it. Take the front off it. Pop that on. I think I read somewhere that the weight is under 100 grams and that's, that's crazy. Like it's so, so light. I usually change the aperture with my left hand, but I feel like this is designed to change with your right because of the way that the aperture, like the grips on the lens are placed. I actually cannot get over how light this thing is. It's crazy light. Have that in your pocket and you wouldn't even know it was there. I've never used a lens from TT Artisan before, but from what I gather, this is their first ever autofocus lens, so that'll be fun to see how the autofocus performs. Most of the prime lenses I've ever used are 24 millimeters and below, or 50 millimeters and above. I've never really explored in between 24 and 50. This lens being 27 millimeters is the equivalent of a 41 millimeter lens on a full frame camera. So that's really exciting for me to test out this new focal length. TT Artisan are currently selling this lens for $128, which is basically like 100 quid. For that price, I'm not expecting this lens to be like crystal clear perfection, but I am expecting it to be really fun to use and have a lot of character. So the only thing really left to do is go out and shoot with this lens and test it out and see how it performs. A big shout out to TT Artisan for showing an interest in my videos and sending me this lens in the first place. Just to let you know, TT Artisan hasn't sponsored this, so all the opinions expressed in this video are my own. So yeah, let's go shoot with the 27mm f2.8 autofocus lens from TT Artisan. Should be a fun one. Let's go see!
So I've had the chance to shoot with this lens a little bit and honestly, I'm impressed. It's a relatively inexpensive lens. It's light and compact and the autofocus is fairly quick and accurate. The focal distance took a little bit of time to get used to. It's sort of too tight for a wide shot and too wide for a good mid shot, but I guess that means it can sort of act as both. There are, however, a few downsides I found when shooting with this lens. The first one being a mad vignette that appears when you shoot wide open at f2.8. I found I got my best results at about f5.6. So if you like a really shallow depth of field in your images, this lens might not be the one for you. The second downside I find when using this lens is that the lens hood that comes with it is rather small. I don't know if that's something to do with the focal distance or whatever, but living in Ireland, it rains almost every single day. So I need a good lens hood to stop the rain from hitting the lens. My third negative point about this lens is that the grips that they put on the aperture ring seem to be designed for right-handed shooters. Maybe it's just me. I always do the aperture ring with my left hand. That frees my right hand up to do all the like shutter button and exposure compensation, all that stuff. Maybe it's a specific design choice or maybe it's just me being silly, but for future lenses from TTR Design, I would love there to be grips on the aperture ring the whole way around. So the big question, would I rely on this lens professionally? Probably not, but I wouldn't hesitate to grab this lens stick it on my camera and take it with me on a day trip or a holiday or just like general daily use. Somewhere that I know that the lighting won't be an issue. If you're on a tight budget and you're looking for a lightweight, compact, aesthetically pleasing lens for everyday use for your Fujifilm camera, then I can definitely recommend this 27 millimeter f2.8 autofocus lens from TT Artisan. I could see this lens being a great companion for an XE4, an X-Pro3 or an X-T30, something like that, like a smaller body. I am certain I will continue to have fun shooting with this lens. It's maybe not the brightest or the cleanest lens out there, but it is a compact, beautiful looking little lens that focuses well when you need it to. Congratulations to TT Artisan for creating their first ever autofocus lens. I'm really excited to see what this company comes out with next. I've had a lot of fun using this lens and a lot of fun making this video, and hopefully you've had fun watching it too. So as always, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.